Alright guys, so today we're going to be going over the Bio Broly Batner. If you haven't already checked it out, go ahead and check out my video on the Bio Broly event. I went over the event in the two free-to-play cards that are farmable from that event um, and the medals. I'm going to talk a little bit about the medals here just because they're required on some of the cards that I'm talking about. But um, as you see over here, I have the Dokkan stats page open right now from the JP side so we can go over the banner. Um, at least the banner that the JP side had. Now they had three discount summons, a 30 summons a piece or the three discount summons for 30 stones a piece per multi so maybe we might get that on the global side if that happens um you'll get at least three three uh, summons from me because i'll pick up one of the on sale packs for this um i think it's kind of worth it there are some cool cards here uh they're nothing major that i'm not going to say that you are going to want to have these cards because they're not like they're not game breaking in any way but they're pretty cool so let's just talk about the banner real quick you have the valentine's day bay team and then you have essentially uh, the other two bay teens. I think this one is the intelligence one, the intelligence SSR variant of her. Um, she is decent. I think she's, yes, yeah, is the intelligence one. Um, I'm pl pretty sure she is an orb changer as well. Oh, by the way, if you guys don't know, all you have to do is go up here. The cards are, everything are the same. So you could just like, I just taken away the JPN, the JPN dot. And then the American version, or the English version comes up. <laughs> uh, I don't know if any of you knew about that. So, because the card ID is exactly the same. Uh, so, now you guys know if you didn't know that before. Anyway, she changes rainbow to intelligence key orb. So, and she has weakened regeneration. So, she is the cell killer. Um, anyway, so that's who she is. She's really cool for um, orb, orb manipulation. She's someone who's going to be really good if you have an LR Gohan. So, you might want to consider grabbing her. Um, I'm going to go over the uh, bay, the other bay team, the new bay team. She's on here. Then you have the Goten, the Trunks, the Goten, and the Trunks. Uh, and then you have the two SR Android 18s. I'm not sure one of if one of these is like the future 18, and if the other one is the regular 18. We're going to go ahead and find out right now. Um, so essentially, these are the SR variants of 18, and each of these SR variants of her feeds into her SSR counterparts when you Z awaken. So this one's Android 18, and this one's Android. So you just got the two base form Android 18s, which are also on this banner. They're going to have obviously a high pull rate, 10% SR pull rate of the, the actual banner SSRs. Either way, they're literally just meant to feed into the other Android 18s that are available on this banner. So go ahead, do that if you want to. The banner overall pull rate was about 10%, just shy of 10%. Um, and each card had about a 0.7% pull. Uh, nothing really amazing. Uh, in terms of who else was on this banner, I'm looking here to see if I, if I catch any LRs. Um, I didn't. Rem I don't remember any LRs actually being part of this banner, but um, I also never really pulled on it. Okay, so the actual Broly, so Broly, oh, and LR Gohan were both part of that banner. We're going to have to wait to see if they're actually going to be on this banner. Um, I don't know if the Merge Zamasu, uh, not the Merge Zamasu, the Zamasu, the, the Goku Black and Zamasu, uh, that, that LR should be coming soon. I know that it was translated in the database. Oh, Majin Vegeta is also on this banner. So it looks like all the LRs are currently, well, should be in that banner. Um, if, well, when this comes out, plus, okay, that's, that's the Go, Gohan with the Icarus in it. Um, yeah, so, Lord Shugesh, I don't see anything else. I'm just trying to see if the Goku Black, yeah, I didn't see the Goku Black in here. If I missed it, let me know in the comments below. I'll make sure to pin that post, so that way, um, we, everyone knows that the Goku Black is in there, but I don't think he is. But the other three, uh, LRs were in it. So, again, when it comes out, I'll let you guys know if that is the case. So, when I'm, when I'm doing the summoning video on it, I'll let you know if that's the case. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and talk about the new card for Android 18, Ferocious Counterattack, Android number 18. Her leader ability is Strength and Physical Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 20%. Supreme Damage to the enemy and raises attack for 3 turns. Her move is Destructo Disc. Um, by the way, you guys can check out the super attacks, it just takes too much time in the video, so that's why I don't display them. Uh, passive skill, Balancing, Risk, and Rewards. Attack plus 40% at the start of the turn. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% when HP is 50% or above. So that's cool. So she has the unconditional 40 and then an additional uh, 40, which is a total of 80% with supreme damage. And raising her own attack for three turns. It's not bad for an Android 18 card that's actually really good. We actually have one that is finally like um, she does some damage. Uh, she doesn't like she does, she lacks some good link skills though. Um, I guess she can be good on uh, like a villain's team with the LR androids. She might become a little bit more viable, but. She doesn't do key orb manipulation, which is something you would prefer to have on one of the on that team, uh, just because the androids are going to want to um, get more key orbs so that way they can get their ultra super attack off. But anyway, um, link skills are money, 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 android assault, twin terrors, shocking speed, and battlefield diva. Oh, and infinite energy. She's part of the category peppy gals or peppy girls, whatever you want to call it. Um, so she will. That's you know, that's just her own thing. I guess when that comes out, it's going to be the master roshi event. You drop more platinum uh, turtle shells. 
she has max stats of HP of 84.75, attack of 80.99, and defense of 44.87, with a 12 key multiplier of 130%. Now, we're going to go ahead and talk about Awakening Medals real quick. She requires seven, uh, seven of her own, I was about to say 17, uh, seven of her own Awakening Medals from the actual Bio Broly event, which should be coming out tonight on the global side. So, guys, it should be out tonight. I think it's like 10.30, 11.30 PST, probably 10.30 PST. That's usually when they release stuff. Um... The medals you're going to want to worry about is level 2, Showdown Bio Warrior, for the Goten and Trunks medals, and level 3 for the Demon Returns for Android 18. That's where you're going to get hers. The Bio Broly medals will be on level 5, but none of them should be required for the other Doken Awakening, so you don't have to worry about it. Just level 2 and level 3 for the ones we're talking about in this video. Um, she Doken Awakens... I actually don't have her car up. Wow. Um, she Doken Awakens into Clever Tactics Android 18. Um, she is a decent card. She's a decent leader ability. Um, if it, you know, <laughs> a strength and physical type key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 30%, so she's a little mini leader. She will be good for you if you're, if you're a newer player and you have some of the OG Dokkan cards and you're trying to go up against those events. Um, maybe possibly the 70% leaders because Super Vegito was able to be taken on with the, um, like, go with the OG days. Before we had the percentage leads, we had Super Gogeta the strength one and he was our primary leader and you want to take on super vegeto with him as a lead so she will be able to help you out on the 70 percent leaders and on the 70 percent leaders uh, well i mean on the all of the older events before the 70 percent leaders uh, anyway um outside of that supreme damage raises attack for six turns shows so she is one of the long haul characters supreme damage kind of stinks but she will do some damage after after time again as you guys know if you've been following me i don't like how i don't like the attack raise for a specific amount of time but for six turns it I can start making, you know, exceptions for six turns instead of, like, the three turns. Um, passive skill attack plus 50% of the starter turn, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when HP is 50% or above. If they lowered that to 30% for her Doken Awakening, I feel like that would have been a lot better. Um, but see, she does um, attack plus 100%. Uh, when HP is at 50% or above. So that's actually really good for this unit. I mean, her 12 key multiplier is only 135%, but she has a semi-farmable super attack, which is pretty cool, you know? I mean, you can get her up to super attack 10 pretty damn easily because of that. Um, and, I mean, it's... I don't want to say easily. I mean, if you don't have the stones to do it, you're not going to really be able to do it. But you can farm her up to super attack 10, um, which, is, which is nice. Anyway, link skills, she just adds on shattering the limit. Um, everything else is the same, and her max stats are HP of 88.68, attack of 83.33, and defense of 46.84. Now, again, I wouldn't recommend going for her primarily. She is a cool unit to have. Unless you really like Android 18, then, I mean, hey, then go for her. But outside of that, I don't really, uh, in terms of viability, she is not someone who I would recommend going. She doesn't play. She, she's a decent damage dealer, but there are better damage dealers on a strength team that you can pull. Um, and her passive skill is decent, but, I mean, I also don't know what her damage output is after six turns, you know, assuming optimal build for her. Anyway, the next one is going to be the new Trunks, Inborn Pride, Super Saiyan Trunks kit. Leader abilities, tech and physical type key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 20%. He does triple Kamehameha, causes supreme damage to the enemy, and raises allies by 20%. Um, allies attack by 20% for one turn, so he would want him to attack first. Um, his passive skill attack plus 80% reduces damage received by 40% when guard is activated. Now, there are a couple of rare cards that actually do that, which is pretty damn cool. Um, I like that. That means he's a little bit more viable against intelligence units. Uh, there are not that many intelligence units, though, that I can see him, or not intelligence units, a lot of events where mono intelligence is going to be where you're going to, you know, is going to be the primary boss that you're going to fight. Uh, he will be so somewhat viable because of that, but I mean, again, it's attack plus 80%, so he does a little bit more damage on a mono strength team. Um, well not mono strength, on a mono technique team with the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. He can link with the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the Gotenks. Uh, he has a couple good link skills with him, so you can go ahead and do that to give him some attack buffs. Uh, so he'll be decent for that, just, just for links in itself, and he does some decent damage. Max stats, HP of 8026, attack of 8243, and defense of 4532. 12 key multiplier of a lowly 130%. Um, overall, fun unit to have. I wouldn't recommend going for him either. He's just someone who's cool to have um, if you end up pulling him, uh, if, or if you like Trunks, but, or the kid Trunks, but uh, overall, he's a good unit to have. Don't get me wrong. He's a good unit. I just, you know, I don't find him super viable on a team, uh, but you, if you get him, he might be something, someone who's good for you. Uh, let's go ahead and actually talk about the other Trunks. Now, this Trunks is the physical one. Now, he's finally getting his Doken Awakening, and that's what we I've been waiting for personally. Um, this Trunks becomes really good when he Dokens. I'm not going to go over the card itself, the, the base form card. Amazing Combat Sense, Super Saiyan Trunks. Uh, he's going to Doken Awaken with seven medals that you get from this event that I had mentioned earlier. Um, he's a really good unit. 
Hidoken Awakens into glorious battle Super Saiyan Trunks kit. Um, his leader ability is physical life key plus 2, HP and defense plus 70%, supreme damage to the enemy and raises attack for 3 turns, that's his super attack final cannon. Passive skill, learning to fight back, attack, an unconditional attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. Now the really, uh, let's go over his link skills real quick. <laughs> uh, link skills, golden warrior, royal lineage, super saiyan, the innocence, budding warrior, prepared for battle and shattering the limit. So the reason why I like him and the other thing is he is an optimal unit for a mono physical team, mono hero physical team. He links with the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks very, very well. The physical one that's going to be coming out in the future. He's one of his primary linking buddies and he gives himself a passive of 100% with a 12 key multiplier of 135%. Again, the 12 key could be better, but for an old school card, 135%, not horrible. But the other thing is he's on the, on the hybrid Saiyan category team. So, let's say you get the, um, the, the Ultimate Gohan. Now, see, my, me personally, I'm, I want the Ultimate Gohan when the one category leads come out. I know I went for Omega Shenron, but that's because I wanted him for the Mono Physical Extreme team. I'm not going ham for the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or the Omega or the Frieza. The only category lead that I want is the Hybrid Saiyan one, because the Hybrid Saiyans are my favorite character. Well, not my favorite character, but some of my favorite characters. And I think that team has the most potential. So this guy will link very well with the physical Gotenks or the tech Gotenks if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for the hybrid Saiyan team for that for that um, category. So for the super for the mono physical super team, he's going to do really well with the linking. Um, plus he's going to he also links really well with uh, Go Goten as well. But overall, he's a really good unit. Uh, max stats HP of 9664, attack of 7654, and defense of 47. Yeah, 47.61, 12 key multiplier of 135%. It looks like we actually have potential system available here from him as well. Base stats, HP of 11,664, attack of 9,654, and defense of 6,761. Max is HP of 15,064, attack of 12,654, and defense of 9,361. So 12, well, 12 12,500 attack plus 100%, plus 135%. Let me, he's going to be doing really freaking nut damage, man. I'm telling you. Actually, it's really only 35% buff right there. Uh, but this one's actually double whatever he is. So uh, just double from that. That's 24,000 or 25,000 attack. Jesus Christ. Uh, anyway, overall, he's a very good unit. This is If you're going to pull on this banner, this is the card that you really want. He, in my opinion, is the most valuable card on this banner that you can pull because he's actually going to play a big role in this meta and the future meta. Well, in the meta of the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks when he comes available and the future metas. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is the new Goten Inborn Fearlessness Super Saiyan Goten Kit. Leader ability is intelligence and physical type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 20%. Uh, his super attack triple Kamehameha causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises allies attack by 20% for one turn. So that's pretty cool. Passive skill, a hero like his father, attack plus 80%, high chance to reduce damage received by 40%. So they gave him more of an attack buff than the trunks, but they give him only a chance to reduce damage. So take it for what you will. Again, not a really good unit in my opinion. I don't think he's super viable. Um, he can be good in certain situations, I guess, but I, I don't like him. But his, his uh, high chance to reduce damage isn't by type. Um, it's just in general. Uh, Link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Budding Warrior, The Innocence, and Prepared for Battle. He is on the Hybrid Saiyans category team. Um, his max stats are HP of 8744, attack of 8027, and defense of 4443. He has a 12 key multiplier of 130%, and you can pause it if you want to read the potential system. I'm not going to go over that, because I don't think it's worth it on this card. Uh, but go ahead and pause it if you want to, or just go to the Dokkan Battle Wiki and check out the card itself. Um, anyway, a decent card, but not, no one who I'm going to tell you to actually go and pull for. Uh, the next one is going to be the old school Goten, uh, the agility one, Burgeoning Might, Super Saiyan Goten Kid. His leader build. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to go over the actual the stats here. We're going to only go away. Or just Doken Awakening because I'm already at 14 minutes here. He Doken Awakens with seven medals from the Bio Broly event. Again, that's going to be the same seven medals you're going to have to go for for the trunks on the same level. I think it's level two. He Doken Awakens into Struggle Beyond All Expectations, Super Saiyan Goten Kid. Um, his leader ability is agility type key plus 2, HP and defense plus 70%, not that viable as a leader. Super attack Kamehameha, supreme damage to the enemy and raises attack for 3 turns, eh. Uh, passive skill, innate intuition, attack plus 90% at the start of the turn. Now the thing is, there are a lot of good units that you could run on the, the mono super intelligence team, I'm sorry, agility team. Uh, so his passive skill of attack plus 90%, while it's good because it's unconditional, there are better units you can run. Now, if you don't have those better units, then you know what? You can run him, especially alongside that Super Saiyan Go uh, Gohan, because the both of them are agility units. Uh, so that might come in 
you know, be better off for you. But overall, he's not going to be a primary unit you're going to run. But again, if you're lacking him, he is a really good unit to run on a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Kamehameha, Super Saiyan, the Innocence, Budding Warrior, Prepared for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. Also on the Hybrid Saiyan team, max stats are uh, HP of 9021, Attack of 7764, and Defense of 4944. 12 key multiplier of 135%. Um, overall, decent card, like I said. Uh, if you get him, good for you. My primary card that I want to tell you guys about, again, just one more time, is that physical Super Saiyan Trunks kit. Um, he is probably going to be the, my number one unit that I would say um, is worth it. And if you get him, make sure you lock him up and you save him for the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks if he comes out, or when he comes out. He should be out um, at some point next month, or actually in the next week or two, I would probably say. But anyway, guys, uh, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. I just wanted to make sure I covered all the banner cards with you. Uh, this is going to be going up probably, I'm going to schedule it probably around 5 o'clock. Uh, I'm going out. I got a couple things to do today. Thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you guys in the comments below.